Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. Today's video, we're going to be reacting to my bro, Chris Turner. He's actually messing around with, I believe, the world's first double pedal. Uh, let's let's see how this goes. This is the world's first double pedal ever. Today, we're going to put this thing to the test and see if I'm able to yeah, play some like modern it. metal oh, tracks on this literal piece of history. Dude, there is no winning with this. Ain't stopping them. The pedal was first created by a company called Sleeshman way back in 1968, and I think it's safe to say it's definitely showing its age. I gotta give it to those guys, they were well ahead of their time. This thing is literally direct drive, it's got all these adjustments, like these pedals slide in and out. Not really sure why you'd need it any closer, but you can do it. The most impressive thing in my opinion is the fact that there's no slave pedal. In theory, this thing should be balanced. So we're gonna kick the day off by doing something called a rebound test and see how well it does. A rebound test is a simple test to check that your pedals are gonna behave and respond the same. In an ideal world, they'll look something like this. Both beaters will move quite freely and they'll move in synchronization. Let's give it a go. Oh bro, they move inward like that. Well, that sucked. And I can't improve it because the springs are completely <laughs> seized up. That being said, it might still perform well. So we're gonna get the kit set up and see how it does. Let's get it going. Oh, it's moving loads. I played three hits on it and it moved like that. Unfortunately, I did have to use an entire roll of tape to stop this thing from moving. But now she's ready to rip and my friends are already setting me challenges. I'll pay you 100 quid if you play bleed. Photo. Look at that. Come hey, on. Guys. Perfect, baby. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whilst you were playing, I was forgetting that you were playing on a 55 year old like pedal. Yeah. It felt it, that obliterates any excuse with like gear. It's definitely not gear, it's all just practice. Even though I completely agree, these pedals didn't actually feel that bad to play. The only thing that was weird was having the kick drum perfectly central to the rest of the setup. So I've just put a second set of hi-hats on the drum kit where my kick drum would usually be. I gotta be honest, it's the sickest thing ever. Before this, I'd never played a drum kit with four pedals and two hi-hats, and it gave me an idea. I wanted to play a pattern in three between the two pedaled hi-hats, whilst playing a pattern in four with my hands to create a polyrhythm. At the same time, I do have to put some kicks in there, so I planned on pedal hopping both of my feet around this double pedal to play an insane double kick pattern. Of course, it won't be a Chris Turner idea without some metric modulations, so I planned on putting a dotted eighth met mod in the middle, and finally, I wanted to sprinkle in some ghost notes and some fills just to keep it interesting. Simple, right? <laughs> Same fucking place, bro. <laughs> oh my god, the same fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours later. I was so stoked on how this idea came out. And even though Jibs looked like he hated every second of it, it didn't take too much to get him fired up again. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna put some guitars to this idea and see how it sounds as a full production. But before that, I need to get this pedal packed away and back to the museum. Did I break? Did I actually break it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 
fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's not pull it that way. <laughs> Before I play you the idea with full production, I want to give you guys my final thoughts on this pedal. First and foremost, I don't like how this pedal smells. It smells like old. Yeah, it's got that museum smell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it literally smells like burn. This pedal smells like burning. Secondly, I didn't like how much this pedal moved when I was playing on it. I know that the company made the pedal back in the 60s, so they couldn't really predict that people would play this aggressively, but it was definitely still annoying. I mean, in the 60s, most people were just sitting around with a lava lamp going to Woodstock. To... Going to wood. I also didn't love the setup. I had to raise my snare drum above my 24 inch kick so that I could sit close enough. And then I ended up getting a ton of kick bleed in my snare bottom mic, so it definitely wasn't ideal. Mm. Feel wonky on it. That being said, this weird setup led to some of my most creative drum parts I've ever played. Who would have thought this old ass shit would like make this sort of thing? Make new, new music. Yeah, dude, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah. I also quite liked that it had a handle. Imagine showing up to a gig with this, like, what's going on, guys? <laughs> the last thing I want to talk about is the playability of this pedal. And luckily, Jibs asked me this question beautifully. If I was to walk into a church gig with that pedal right there, they would have immediately called an altar call. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> what does it, like actually feel like a whole lot of demons getting cast out. Okay, <laughs> honestly, a bag of dicks. You're so awkward today. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, it stood the test of time. This thing fucking rips, dude. <laughs> and now it's finally time to play you guys my idea with full production. If you guys like the sound of this idea and you want to hear more, then get this video to 10,000 likes and I will happily turn it into a full song. Either way, guys, enjoy. Bro, <laughs> bro, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. Yo, shout out to Chris Turner. I'll leave all his information down in the description box below. If you haven't already, head over to the original video and hit that like button. And uh, yeah, I, I, whew, time to go back to the lab. He makes me have to go practice every time I listen to this man. <laughs> Godly, old pedal, new pedal, first pedal. Godly, it's, it don't matter. <laughs>